Department of Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, I got a voicemail, the call this number about my Social Security. When did you receive the phone call, sir? Oh, gee, it was probably 10.30. Okay, can you verify me your first name and last name, whom I'm talking with right now? Yes, first name is Lewis, L-O-U-I-S. And what about your last name? Last name is Lewis, L-E-W-I-S, Lewis Lewis. Can you spell out your last name, sir? L-E-W-I-S. Okay, Lewis Lewis, am I right? Louis Louis, they call me, yes. Okay, okay. can you verify me your last four digits of the social security number so I can verify I'm speaking yes, with one, Mr. Four, Lewis? Yes, 1463, 1463. Okay, can you please be on hold? Let me pull out your sure. file and let you know what Sure, sure. Okay, please be on hold. Yes. Yes, sir. Are you there? Yes. Can you verify me your zip code? 13118. And what about your date of birth? 31650. Okay. Please be on hold. Don't hang up the line, sir. Okay. Yes, are you there? I'm here. Yes, sir. So the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action filed on your social security. We have got an order to suspend your social at this right moment because we have found many suspicious activities in the your social. Do you have any information about this? Oh well, no, that's why I'm calling you, apparently. Okay have, you, okay, have you ever lost your social security number in your past? Yes, I did. About seven years ago, I lost okay. it. Lost my card. Okay. Okay. In but I got a new one. Right? I got, they gave me a new one. Okay, in 2013, right? Yes. Okay. So, the, have you ever put your social security number in any online website, like loan website and other regarding? Yes, I put it on Twitter. Yes. Yes, sir. So, so that's the reason someone is misusing your social security number and you are the victim of this case. There are three cases registered under your name. I'm shocked that I put it yes. on Twitter and somebody used it illegally? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. There are three. There are three. Can you listen at me first? Yeah, I can listen at you. Go ahead. Yes, there are three cases registered under your name. First one is death trafficking, second one is money laundering, and third is identity theft. So third, I'll now wait go minute, ahead. Wait a minute, you're, you're going too fast there, Sam. What was the third one? Third one, identity theft. If oh. you are not the one who is doing such criminal cases under your name and your personal social information, so I think someone is misusing your social security number so. and you are the victim of this case, right? Yeah, apparently I'm the victim if I didn't do it, yeah. Okay, so the thing is that I'll now go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name while I'm speaking. Do not interrupt me. I'll give you a fair enough chance after I have done, okay? Suck what? I'll now go ahead and read out the legal charges against your name while I'm speaking. Do not interrupt me. I'll give you a fair enough chance okay, after okay, I have done, okay? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Go okay, Go ahead. so the investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas and the car contained some blood and drug inside it. Hence, after the investigation, kind of drugs? we found that... The, yes, sir. What kind of drugs, I wonder? Like cocaine. Oh, boy, that's bad shit. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and there are two, there are two address linked with the title of the vehicle out of which one address in the city of Rollett. Now that address was raised by the Drug Enforcement Agency and U.S. Marshals, but okay. unfortunately okay. there was no one inside the residence. Okay. However, yeah. we have recovered 22 pounds 22, of cocaine. Oh, with them. 22 pounds. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes, and a suitcase full of documentation such as various financial institutions such as Chase Banks, Banks of America, Wells Fargo, and many more. Uh -huh. And all the paperwork uh -huh. recovered had your name on it, uh -huh. and being handed off thousands of dollars had, L yes. had Louis Louis and, on it. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, we gotta go now. Okay, go oh. ahead. And and there are twenty-five bank accounts and seven credit cards open under your name and your personal social information. So are you really using twenty-five bank accounts and seven credit cards under your name? Do I what? Are you really using twenty-five bank accounts and seven credit cards under your name, sir? Well, no, I wouldn't have that many bank accounts. Okay, can you please tell me how many bank accounts do you have so we can easily differentiate between those bank accounts and your bank account? I got one bank account. Okay, and do you have any credit card? I got one credit card. Okay, in which bank do you have banking with, sir? I do my bank at Sperm Bank. Sperm Bank, am I right? Yeah. 
sperm bank. Okay. Okay. So the thing is that why I'm asking for your banking details is to inform you that we want to differentiate between those bank accounts running by disrespect. Okay, so well the only bank me... I use is sperm bank. So if anybody made okay. a, if anybody made a deposit oh. in some other bank, it's not me. I only okay, make so my deposits you have a... in the sperm bank. Okay, so do you have a saving bank account or a checking bank account I in your both. firm? I got or both. both, both. Okay. So can you please tell me in saving bank how much amount, how much fund do you have in your saving? Two thousand. Okay, and what about your checking? One thousand. Okay. Or which company of credit card do you use, sir? I got a Visa. Okay, Visa credit card, right? Yes. Okay, yes. and how much the limit of your Visa credit uh, card? that sir? limit's probably I don't know twelve thousand. I don't know. Okay, and how much you owe from this card? I don't owe anything. Okay, you don't know and you don't owe nothing, right? I don't owe nothing, not a thing. Okay. 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 And what about okay. the limit of Visa credit card, sir? I told you, twelve thousand. Okay. You paying any so attention at all? Thing? Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Can you verify me your full social security number for the security purpose? Yeah, zero eight six one zero one four six three. Okay. Can you please be on hold? Let me transfer your call to the senior department okay. head. They will help you better than me. Okay. Okay. Good. Please be on hold. Don't hang I up will. the line. Okay. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes. Can you please tell me in which city your social security number is issued to you? What city? Moravia, New York. In which... Okay. And in which year? 1966. Okay, can you please be on hold? I'm transferring your call to the senior department head. They will help you better than me about this case. Okay, very good. Okay, good. Okay, please be on hold. Don't I hang will, up the I line. Will, I will, I will. Yes, sir, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yes, can you please repeat your social security number again? 08610-1463. Yes, please be on hold. I'm transferring your call. Okay. That, okay. Do it. Hello, anybody there? Hello? All right, thanks for holding the line. This is Senior Officer Paul Smith. I'm talking to you, Louis. Louis? Louis, Louis. That's me. All right, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Doing good. All right, so you were talking to one of my subordinates, and I believe they have already explained you everything about the case. Am I right? Yeah, they explained everything pretty good. Okay. Okay. All right, and uh, as he explained everything about the case, you got to know, every, like, do you understand every single thing? Like how exactly there are two charges on your name, drug trafficking and money laundering? Yeah, he told me that, but I didn't do it. Well, we uh, know that you didn't do that. You are the victim, not the culprit. Okay, that is the reason we are over here. Okay. Okay, to help you out. Okay, good. Okay. Now, one thing you need to understand that we need to suspend up your social security number. That is 0861014463, okay? Okay. We need to... Uh, the suspend of the social security number and we need to issue you a new social security number okay, what's as my, per what's, the audit. What's my new number? Well, it should not be provided like this. It takes uh, at least 24 hours in order to uh, issue you a new social security number. Well, that sucks. You need to understand. Sorry? I said that sucks. Uh, how what am I going to do without one? Well, you don't have to be worried. I will be there to help you out. Oh, okay. You need to understand one. You need to understand one small thing. Once we're gonna terminate it, once we're gonna terminate the social security number, yeah. Whatever the okay. things that are linked up to your bank accounts, that okay. will be straight away getting freezed. Okay. Oh. That means if you my have money, what about if you my have money? Any money oh. what about yeah, if you have any money in your accounts, that will be straight away getting freezed. I, but you don't have to be worried. You okay. can safeguard your money first. Okay. 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 I will help you in safeguarding your money. So first of all. Uh, I need to know that uh, with the firm, uh, which bank you're dealing with? Sperm Bank. Sperm Bank. All right. With the savings, you have 2000 and the check-in, you have 1000 Am I right? That's right. All right. Do you have the online banking available with you? Yes. Okay. And uh, have you ever used Cash App? No. No. All right. Not a problem. So I want you to transfer all of your funds uh, to the check-in account, all right? From the savings, move the money to the checking account right now, okay? Once you move it, let's, just let me know what is the exact total that you have in your checking. Okay. All right. Just once you're done with that, let me know. Okay. Hello? I got it. Hello? All right. What's the exact figure that you have? 
1,964. Okay, but you told us that in savings you have 2,000 and in the taking you have 1,000. Well, I was wrong. I was wrong. That's what I thought I had, but I don't. Okay, now what I want you to do is that without wasting any single minute, uh, just take your debit well, don't card. Waste your what? card don't waste the what? Oh, okay. All right, get into your vehicle. Once you sit well, in your I vehicle, can't. let me know. I can't, I can't go out. Why? Depend I'm vulnerable. From the I'm I'm under quarantine for the pandemic. Okay, you're under quarantine. Yeah. It sucks. All right. Didn't you hear about the pandemic? Yeah, I hear about it. Huh? Yes, I heard about it. Okay. It sucks. Yeah, it does. So do you. You're a scamming bastard. In every Chevrolet showroom across America, more and more people are looking at the car that's just out and just wonderful, the 1957 Chevrolet. Some are looking at Chevrolet's daring new front-end styling, the bold new grille, big, beautiful sloping hood. Some are looking at Chevy's handsome new rear end with high-fashion fenders and fresh new design. Everyone's enthused about the new color-fashioned interiors and the sleek command post instrument panel. And the biggest news of all, Chevrolet's fuel injection. The greatest engine advanced since the overhead valve. Plus, four famous drives topped by new exclusive turbo glide that brings you triple turbine takeoff and a new flowing kind of going. So visit your Chevrolet dealers soon. See the car that goes them all one better. Number one in the USA, the 57 Chevrolet. Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, sir. How can I help you? I, I got a voicemail to call this number uh, about fraudulent activity on my social security card. Or number okay. or something. <clears throat> All right. And by the way, when did you receive the phone call, sir? It was Just about, now? No, no, no. It was about uh, 3.30. 3.30, okay. And have you ever spoke to any officer before? No. Okay. Well, this is your first time, is that correct, sir? That's right, because I've never talked to nobody before. All right, anyway, uh, my name is Jason Duvall, with a batch ID number 7543T1, from extension 119, from the Department of Social Security Administration. Okay. And so before I just go ahead and give you any further information regarding about the phone calls, all right? First okay. of all... Would you please tell me or help me out with your name, sir? First name is Sue, S-U-E. Last name Parker, P-A-R-K-E-R. -E okay, all right. It's, uh, the first name is S-U-E. Sue. Sue. And the last name is Parker. Right, yes, that's Sue correct. Parker. P-A-R-K-E-R. -E yes, Sue right. Parker. All right, well, in the meantime, sir, do you have the middle name? Yes, Francis. Yeah. Okay, all right. Anyway, thank you so much. Okay. And so, let me go ahead and pull out the information and I will let you know each and everything regarding about the phone calls. Okay. All right? All right. And so, in the meantime, I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper as well, because I'm going to provide you some of my information for your future reference. Okay. And sir, can you please help me out with your area zip code? 13118. All right. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to put you on hold for a minute. Just okay. on the line. Okay, sir? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you live in the state of New York, is that correct? New York, yeah. All right. Okay, uh, Mr. Parker. Yes. Well, I can see here, there is a case registered under your name. So, I believe you might have received a case ID number. Case number. From where? I didn't get no case number. Okay, so you don't have the case number? Well, sir, in the meantime, in order to go ahead and pull out your case file number. Okay. Do you remember the last, do you remember, remember the last four of your social, the last four digit number? 1463. Okay, just hold the line. All right, so, so are you ready with the pen and the paper? Yeah. Okay, that's great. Now. I'm going to provide you my name, 
my batch ID number, my extension number, as well as your case ID number that we are working on it right now, okay, sir? Okay. So, my name is Jason Duvall. Do you want me to set it out for you, sir? Oh, I got it. Okay, anyway. All right, and my batch number will be 754321, and my extension number will be 119. Okay. And your case ID number, sir, your case ID number will be a letter D. D, okay. D as in David? Yeah. Yes. D. A letter C, C as in C. California? C. With a, with a number. Okay. Eight, eight, four. Eight, eight, four. Two, five. Two, five. Six. Six, one? Six, one. One, okay. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Okay. Let me repeat you one more time. They say A four two five six one. Okay. Got it. Well, I believe you got the correct information. Is that correct, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now, let me go ahead to the point. Okay. <clears throat> so the reason, you know, the reason behind this call is to inform you that we got an order to determine your social security number because we have found some suspicious and fraudulent activities under your name and your social security number in the state of Texas. So are you aware about this situation, sir? No, that's why I called you. All right, and do you receive any call from your local sheriff department regarding about your social? No, I never call. Why would they call me? Okay. All right, as per the law, sir, you have the right to know everything about this ongoing investigation. Okay. And I, I would like to provide you all the information. But okay. before that, I would right. like to mention that this line has been recorded right. and monitored okay. by the four major federal agencies. Uh -oh. So whatever you speak of this recorded line must be true and honest. I want you to be honest with me, okay, sir? Yeah, I wonder what four agencies you're talking about, though. I'm sorry, sir. No, no, no. I mean for agencies, okay? Oh. Go ahead, I guess. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. Now, let me go ahead to the point, okay? Okay, please. So, sir, this investigation, uh -huh. this investigation was started by the law enforcement agencies. Uh -huh. Under your name and your social security number. And, we, and when we found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas, they made the model of the car was it was a 2008 black Toyota. 2008 with Toyota? The plate number. Yes, that's correct. It's a black Toyota. Black? No, my name Corolla, got, I, don't with have plate a, I don't number. have a Toyota. Okay, let me go ahead and complete my explanation, all right? Okay. With a plate number, TX2440. And this car was idle on the street, and the local reported about this car to the okay. local sheriff department. Yeah, okay. And they have done an investigation of this car. And when they investigated the car, they found some blood and drugs inside the car. Oh my gosh. Which, which made them totally entrailing to them. And this car but was did. rented under your name oh. and your social security <laughs> number. Who the hell would run a 2008 you know, Toyota? That's what I don't know. You know, sir, I, are you trying to play with me? No, no, I'm just saying, if you're going to rent a car, it seems though you run a new one, not a 2008 Toyota. Well, I suppose they can rent whatever they want. Sir, sir. Yeah. To be honest with you, all right? To be honest with you, if you're not going to cooperate with me, no problem. I'm just going to hang up this call, all right? Well, I'm just here that, to give that, you an information regarding about the wait phone a minute. calls. That's a complete contradiction. How can you be honest when you're a scamming bastard? <laughs> Jesus. Huh? Huh? You piece what, of shit. I, get, I said, how can you be honest when you're a scamming bastard? Huh? Shithead? Oh, come on. Come on, you scamming fucker. Trying to steal money from people, you fuckstick. I knew it, I knew it. You knew it. Well, you knew it because I really didn't feel like fucking with you. You're too fucking slow. You're too slow with the talk. You're too slow. I ain't got time to fuck around. I got to make calls here. I got calls to make, dude. 
I got... You mean I'm too slow? Yeah, you're too slow. I got to talk to a faster scammer. Okay. You know, like I've already told you before, I knew it. That's why I go slow. Oh, okay. That's why you were slow. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you don't make any money today, and I hope you don't scam anybody, you thieving bastard. That's what I think of you. All right. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, thank uh, you. Go and fuck yourself, too. Okay. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Anyway, you have a good day. Take care. You fuck yourself. Goodbye.